Halloween is only a day away now. Leave a comment down below with what costume you're gonna wear. I'm your host Yusuf, and these are 10 scary Halloween incidents that will ruin your night. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Anyways, let's get moving on. Number 10, prediction of a crime. A couple was ended in their Manhattan home on October 31st, 1981. They were brutally abused before being executed style shot in the head and their home was looted. Initially, it was believed that narcotics had a role in the incident. However, information leaked out of jail by David Berkowitz. A renowned convict known as the Son of Sam changed the course of the case by predicting the incidents weeks in advance. The incidents could not have been committed by him, therefore the case remained unsolved despite his uncannily accurate description of what was done to the couple's flat. Number 9. That's not a decoration. On November 1st, a postman making his daily morning delivery along the route noticed a very realistic looking Halloween display on the doorstep of one of his stops. The man had passed away on his doorstep the previous evening, so the, pa so the postman brought the mail around the convincingly lifeless body, but it would never be received. Number 8. Another decoration. Another poor year for convincing Halloween decorations was 2014, as people mistakenly believed that a man had pulled a headless body from his flat and then kicked the head across the street as a practical joke. The reality wasn't discovered until someone attempted to remove the lifeless body from the middle of the road and discovered it belonged to a real person. The body belonged to Patricia Ward, whose son had a history of mental illness and had once chopped off his mother's head before jumping in front of a speeding train. Number 7. Harry Houdini After sustaining an injury during one of the renowned magician's last performances in 1926, Harry Houdini passed away. According to the New York Times archive, while Houdini was performing a number of tricks to students in Montreal, he said that his abdominal muscles were so strong they could endure punches without being hurt. He was then allegedly struck twice in the appendix without warning by a pupil, and although he recovered instantly, he later complained of agony and passed out during his next performance as soon as the curtains closed. According to the Times, medical professionals attested that Houdini's appendix burst and poisoned his system as a result of the student's punches. He passed away on October 31st. Number 6. Invasion In 1938, on the eve of Halloween, listeners to CBS radio heard an unusual announcement. Martians have invaded New Jersey. A group of radio actors and actor, writer, and director Orson Welles led the drama War of the Worlds over the radio. Few people realized it was a play though, and as a result, a lot of people started to panic about an alien invasion. When the War of the Worlds was broadcast, Radio Lab reported that 12 million people were listening, that 1 million of them fled their houses in fear, and that approximately 1 in every 12 listeners believed the story to be true. Number 5. A Tragic Explosion the tragic event happened during Holiday on Ice, an ice skating event held at Indianapolis's Indiana State Fairground Coliseum. On October 31st, 1963, shortly after 11 p.m., an explosion was caused by gas seeping from a concession area during skaters' last routine of the evening. A large crater was formed as the flooring gave way. 400 people were hurt and 74 individuals passed away as a result of the catastrophe. Indianapolis Star reporter Richard R. R. Roberts reported the events of the night and described the tragic aftermath as a horrific scene, writing, You walked into a nightmare. This was the worst thing I have seen since combat in WW2. Number 4. A Note the note an Oregon woman found inside the graveyard kit she purchased from Kmart was the only unsettling aspect of it. The author of the essay was a Chinese factory worker who claimed to have been tortured and forced to work 15 hours a day, without compensation or vacation days, in a forced labor camp where they were forced to make toys. He continued by pleading that the World Human Rights Organization receive a copy of the letter. When the camp was discovered months later, the Chinese laborer was let free because because the wife had done just that. Number 3. Affair It was 1957, October 31st. A doorbell rang as a couple was getting ready for bed. Even though it was late, the spouse was there to answer the door and provide more candy. 
Rather, he was ended by a mask-wearing adult who shot him in the chest. Was the trick-or-treater disappointed by the assortment of candies? Not exactly. It turns out that the lady who had an affair with the slain man's wife was the slayer, to obtain the wife for herself. The woman persuaded her girlfriend to divorce the husband. Number 2. Wrong House a Japanese exchange student named Yoshihiro Hattori attended a Halloween party in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 25 years ago, dressed as John Travolta's character from Saturday Night Fever. Sadly, he was dropped off at an incorrect residence by mistake, and Hattori was shot and ended by the homeowner who was startled by this unexpected guest. Later on, the homeowner was found not guilty of any crimes. On the 20th anniversary of her son's passing, Hattori's mother, Mieko, made the following statement. I've been watching American culture for the past 20 years. For Japanese people, the current state of affairs there is inexplicable. I wish to support more approaches to gun regulation. Number 1. Trick or Treat One final knock on Marvin Brandlin's door in 1982 as he was getting ready for bed following a night of distributing Halloween candy. When Brandlin opened the door, he discovered a person with holes cut out for eyes wearing a pillowcase over their head. The figure said, trick or treat, give me your money or I'll shoot. Then he produced a revolver and told Brandlin to go to his basement, where a safe was stored. Since only family members were aware of the safe, Brandlin assumed this was a joke and reached for the gun. The one wearing the pillowcase shot, ending Brandlin by striking him in the throat. The pillowcase remained at the scene as the person ran away. When the pillowcase was analyzed for DNA in 2010, not enough DNA was found to match the sample, leaving this a mystery. Thanks for watching. Those were 10 scary Halloween incidents that will ruin your night. Leave a like and comment if you think we missed anything, and we hope you have a scary day.